Video 21 on League of Legends, we got to over 72,000 points in the last video and took rank 6 for the first time in a while, and it's time to try and break into the top 5 and beyond. I am the only person on the entire page with the Wilderness region unlocked, and that's going to be my cheat code today to getting over 1,000 points. So let's get started. I was just doing some RDO while AFK and to switch it up. If you guys don't know, I did all my 300 kills in the first week of the league when the Void Waker pieces weren't boosted, so I don't have a Void Waker piece from RDO, which is pretty unfortunate because it's only like a 1 in 1 A2 drop. They're boosted now though, so eventually I'm going to have to come and get the Void Waker pieces from here and Spindle as well. That's 200 points to equip the whole Void Waker. All right, I got Dagonos. That's perfect. We're going to go to Dagonos. At this point in the league, I have to do all the KC tasks and then go for all the RNG tasks as well, so it's just a matter of which one I want to do first. It was 150 KC tasks for all Dagonoth Kings for 80 points, and then if I kill them all 300 times, there's a 200 point task as well. I'm already at like 110 kills for each of them, so I'm just going to go to 150 real quick. Okay, my KCs are a bit skewed. I have more Rex than Prime and Supreme, but in 7 more or 6 more Prime and Supreme kills, I'll get the point. And that is defeat each Dagonoth King 150 times for 80 points. I could stay here and go all the way to 300 kills each for another 200 points, but I kind of can't be bothered. I'm going to go do some Giant's Foundry because apparently there's a, there's a way to cheese the tasks. So shout out to Red Eye Jedi for this technology for the Giant's Foundry. You can do 100 swords in under 40 minutes, like he says. You basically just make broken swords. You just go use it on the thing that breaks the sword right away and just hand it in and it counts for a hand in, which is really, really nice. I already have all the points from Giant's Foundry because I already got the Smith's outfit. So yeah, I can just break all these and it's quick and easy points. Ken, this should be 50 hand ins very, very quickly, getting me another 80 points. I should go all the way to 100 because this is free. 72,550 points. No way, dude. Dude, this is a cheat code. Colossal Blade, bye. Bro, let's go, 40 points. Yo, yo, you can just break the sword right away. For hand -ups. 72,590 points, dude, that was a cheat code. All right, and we just cheesed our way to 100 hand. It's very, very nice. We were done with Giant's Foundry completely, got everything we needed. 72,670 70, points, which means I can do Blast Furnace where the rest of my 50 mil smithing. I've pretty much officially run out of things to do AFK that give me a lot of points, so it's time to hit the woodcutting angle. Could do Mahogany's. Well, I am going to do Mahogany's. There are Teaks right there, which would definitely be faster, but um, Mahogany's will give me Construction XP, and it's way more AFK over time, so yeah. Let's go. I got the 40 points for completing the Flowering Bush event. 72,710. I thought you could only do that with Candor, and I guess not. I'm finally done editing the video. It's still rendering right now, and then I've got some food coming, and I've got to put the thumbnail up, shit like that. So I think I'm just going to go do some corp kills in the meantime, and then I'm going to come back to Forestry, and then we'll get back to doing DKs and Sire and all that other stuff. I'm going to make games necklaces because it's actually going to be way better than using uh, the Recall Crystal, I'm pretty sure, if I just menu entry swap it. Spec it. Spec it. Boom. And then we'll just tally every time we get under 42 HP. Hmm, maybe I will keep the Fury on. And then I'll just swap. Wear it and go. Simple. Tally. Put it on. Corp. Nice. Just like that. That is faster than Crystal, definitely. Ox that hoe, and what do we get? Onyx bolts. Boom, last kill for now. I'm gonna go to wood cutting and just chill a bit while I get the video up. Pure essence, damn it. I was like, come on, for sure, but unfortunately not for sure. All right, we're at like 6K anima infused bark. This has to be the slowest points per hour toss there ever was. But hey, it is what it is. I'm going to go get started on the DKs, I think, now. And when NBA time, I might go do Corp because it's so chill. Okay, I need to kill each DK, not just one, each DK 150 times more. I wonder how long it'll take. You can probably kill all three in under a minute. But, you know, there's time. Hopefully, I can use all three caves and stuff, and I'll go pretty quickly. But I'm thinking it could take three hours, maybe a bit more if I'm not as efficient as I'd like to be. Come on, who's doing DKs at this time? Just give me all three rooms, please. Yes. Yeah, I'm killing them in just under a minute or so. There's pretty much no loot I need to pick up, so I'm just gonna speed through it. We've already done the gold sink and everything. So yeah. Damn, that's a Slayer toss done, which is not ideal because I'm using three caves right now. Surely I skip and I get another one, right? 
Easily. I'm gonna go right after this and try and get a task. Because it's just so much faster. Oh, we got it right away, nice. Alright, I finished my task again, which means I can't go into the Slayer Cave anymore, so I'm just gonna go get another task because I'm pretty sure I'll get it pretty quickly and I have 7,000 points. I'm at like 220 KC on all of them. My Rex KC is a little bit higher than everything else. But yeah, 80 more kills or so. There's like 50 minutes until the NBA game. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get 80 kills in 50 minutes, especially after I go get a task, but we'll see. It's NBA time. I'm around 270 kills, so I'm only going to do 30 more. Shouldn't take too long at all. And that should be 300 Dagonoth kills killed 300 times. I don't know what I just said, but defeat each Dagonoth King 300 times. 200 points, 72,920. I could go do Sire, but I'm watching the NBA right now. So I might go see how chilled these Corp kills are. I think that'd be a good shout. We have a bunch of games and necklaces. We should be good to do this method. So Corp is about to be a huge combo breaker for us today and tomorrow. At 50 KC, I get 80 points. And at 150 and 250 KC, I get 200 points each. So only around 480 points from just the KC, which will take around like 14 hours, which doesn't sound too great, does it? However, it's a 1 in 117 chance to hit the sigil drop table, which is actually sick because I could hit it twice in the 250kc. Getting a blessed spirit shield is 200 points, and the holy elixir is a 1 in 170 drop. It's not boosted at all, but you know, I'm feeling lucky, we're gonna get the holy elixir. And getting an arcane or a spectral spirit shield, they're the same task sort of, because they're on the same drop table, is 400 points. But if I get the arcane, I can get an extra 200 points from the ornate Eladinus ward, so I'd much prefer that. And getting an Elijah Spirit Shield is its own task in itself because it's a 1 in 7 drop table from the Sigil table, whereas the Arcane and Spectral are both 3 in 7. But getting an Elijah is 400 points as well. So in a dream world, I get both the Arcane and the Elijah, which will total my points from Corp and 250 KC to 1480 points in 14 hours. That's extremely good. Okay, that's an Elite Combat Task Corporal Beast Veteran. Don't actually think it does much for me because I need 8 more tasks to get 200 for 200 points. And then I need to get to 800 total CA points for 200 points and 820 for 400 points. But I think I'm pretty screwed with my regions. I've actually done the math. I can't get to 200 CAs. I can get to around 196 and I can't get to 800 or 820 points either. I can only get to around 780 maximum. So it's kind of a wrap. Okay, and that is 50k here at Corporeal Beast. Watermelon seeds, nothing yet, dude. So sad. 73,000 points, which is fairly nice. Uh, oh yeah, it's an 80-point task, right? It got me to 73,000 points. Um, I think I'm going to go work on the five Infernos now. I don't know if I'm going to stay here for court for like another 100 kills or something, because that is a lot of time. And then maybe we'll come back after we're done with Infernos. I don't know. 73,000 points flat, the Bodhi number. Damn, that was quick. Okay, we're a bit lower HP, which is good. Don't know why I just ate. I panicked, dude, I panicked. But his defense is lowered, so hopefully we hit hard. Come on, mage, I believe in you. Come on, pump it, pump it up. Surely I don't get a set on this, I just need a couple big numbers. Just about gonna get a set. Oh nope, I didn't. Nice. Pog. Dad's about to spawn. Perfect. Nice. 35-47. I was so AFK with that, but we got the axe down, which is really good. 
Let's jump right back in. Please don't get hit by the shield, okay. Now please don't get a set. Let's get some mass damage in here. How do we feel about that one? I'm a donut, dude, but this should definitely not be a set. <laughs> I might spawn fucking healers, dude. a new PB. Easily. 33.20. I beat it by a couple minutes, dude. That's hype. That is very hype. Alright, let's go back in. I'm very happy with that. 33.20. Come on. I'm always so sus with that, because the hit comes so close after. Actually, no, it doesn't. I don't know what I'm saying. I should never be sus with that, but hopefully we don't get another set. On. Oh, it's not even a new PB, bro. I'm trash. Oh, oh, I got hit. Oh, okay, no, that doesn't count though, because he's dead. What the hell? That was pretty crazy. Dude, I swear it always goes east. Like, what's going on, mate? It's just always going east now. Oh, well. Got a set. To be what a doobie, as they say. Oh, and now I start hitting crazy. Okay. That was a little slow because I was watching Perp stream and he's being a dumbass, but we got one more to do. And then we get 400 points. Damn, that job took a while. Good. Nice. Complete the Inferno 15 times. Master task done. 70... Oh. 73,400 points. I've got five Infernal Caves in my inventory. I already got the pet last league, so I'm not going to gamble them or anything. Just, I guess it'll be kind of nice to have in the bank until we get... Got some hoe named Dominique who's taken over us. We're 200 points off it right now, and every one of you 50% who are not subscribed, who subscribe right now, will give me another point in catching her. I appreciate it. It's the best thing to support. All right, I think I'm going to go back to Corp. I don't know how long I'm going to be up for, so if I can make some progress on that 150 Corp, 250 Corp, I'd be happy. All right, let's go. It's Corp time. Let's pull an Arcane. Bro, I only have to teleport once on this kill. At the start. Am I cracked at the- Oh, whoa, 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 I celebrated too early. Oh, wait, no, wait, what the hell just happened there? I'm so confused, but hey, GG. 51 KC, let's get back to it. That was definitely my fastest kill. I don't know why there's no boss timer on it. Maybe because I leave the room. Mystic Row bottom. White berries. I'll take them just in case. 58 KC, still nothing. 64 KC. I think it was 164 for the normal spirit shield. 
Oh, holy elixir. Let's go. That's fucking huge. 71 KC holy elixir. That means that whenever I get a sigil, I'm getting points. Now I need the arcane sigil. Oh, I need the spirit shield too. Don't have... That is huge. That is very huge. I need the spirit shield though. Another holy elixir. That's huge. That means I can do two shields. That's huge. But I don't even have a single spirit shield yet. But that means if I get the arcane sigil or the Ellie sigil or the spectral sigil, I can make more than one and I can get a bunch of points. Don't kill me. What the hell? Third holy elixir, dude. What? All right, I need to start getting some spirit shields up right here, bro. No cap. I need to start getting some sigils. And some spirit shields, dude. 90 KC. 100 KC? White berries, dude. Who knows about the white berries? If you know, you know, but... I'd like a arcane sigil, please. It's fine. But dude, what is going on, bro? Fourth holy elixir. Is it bugged? I don't need any more of you guys, bro. Give me a normal spirit shield, what? 137 out of the 150 KC task. I could literally do 13 more kills to get 200 points right now but I am so tired, I'm just gonna go to sleep. And then I'll probably go all the way to 250 when I wake up. All right, I've woken up, I'm at 138 kill count, let's hit this 150. But it needs to be, it needs to be like, well, that's a thing, I don't, I don't know. I think it has to be something like, where there's like a cap on how much value you can bring into the world or something because of all this crazy shit. And then it's just, that's the thing, like, the issue is like there's all these like inconsistencies with how the wilderness works and how the rest of the game works too and that also like puts noobs off like paying fees for fucking this oh i got a spirit shield let's go let's go no i mean i still need i do i do need that i have the i have the four elixirs no spirit shield that's 200 points yeah dude if i got an arcane it's fucking 800 points boom 200 points 73,600. And that is 150 Corp KC, Arcane Sigil 2, not nah, Raw Sharks, 200 points, getting me to 73.8k. I could do some other stuff to get to 74k and stuff like that, but I think I'm just going to NS Corp. I want to get that Arcane Sigil. It's pretty much 800 points. That's 165 KC. Remember, it's 1 and 117 just to roll the Sigil drop table, so I'm already dry on that. Yeah. What the hell, dude? No way. I don't need any more Holy Elixirs, bro. That's not what we want to see, dude. What 91 KC. 59 now to pull a spirit shield, an arcane, and an Ellie, you know, for the culture. And that is 200 Corp KC. I know I've probably already said this, but it's 1 in 117 to hit the sigil drop table. 50 more kills for the KC task to pull a sigil. And uh, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. I'll just take that arcane, you know? I don't need two sigils. Just give me one. Just give me the arcane. 800 points like that. I'll be very, very happy. Pip. My sixth holy elixir, dude. What is happening? What is happening? Dude, shut up. Huh? Yeah, they are. Oh, no. I mean, I guess because they're not boosted. Yeah, I guess they are. Yeah. That's They're not even boosted, so they're uh, 1 in 170. And the sigil drop table is 1 in 117, dude. And I have 40 kills, bruh. Oh my god, it's not looking good, bro. Just another place I don't get any points from apart from doing the KC, dude. I hate my life. This league was over before it started, bro. They wouldn't even let me play the first hour, bro. Fuck. Me, dude. Dude, I'm hung up on everything, bro. No way, no way, no way, dude. Oh my fucking god, bro. I'm gonna keep... I'm going to keep... One in 170 drop, and I've got eight of them. The sigil drop table is one in 17. What is happening? What is happening? What? Yo, if you want to support me further and keep yourself clothed or you drink coffee, go to didabitter.com and buy my merch. Over 50 of you guys have already bought something. There's coffee mugs for coffee drinkers and every piece of clothing from gym shorts to sweatpants to crewnecks, hoodies, beanies, and hats. Didabitter.com. Every purchase directly supports me. 15 more kills. 240kc, 10 more kills. This is 250kc at corp, 74,000 points. Not a single sigil. 
And I'm about to be six hour logged as well, dude. Not a single sigil. This holy elixir, as I've already said multiple times, one in 170, and I got eight of them. The spirit shield, one in 64, I got one of them. And hitting the sigil drop table, one in 117. And I didn't get a single one. <sighs> okay, whoa, that's life, 74,000 points. 74k points. I could literally be at like 75,000 right now. 76,000 if I just had a smidge of RNG. Jags are just fucking me left, right, and center this league. But you know, it's alright. I won't hold a grudge. They're still the boys. I've been pretty doomed pretty much everywhere I've gone. From the heart to the shadow to now this. But you guys' support has been insane, so I'm going to keep playing, obviously. I haven't done the task to win a Soul Wars game yet, so I'm going to eat while I do that. And then work on some more boring tasks, which are at least confirmed points. Win a game of Soul Wars, 40 points, let's go, 74,040. I am so depressed I'm not getting any drops from Corp. That's so many points, you know what it is. There's still 200 points for doing 75 Pyramid Plunders and 200 points for doing 150 Pyramid Plunders. So I'm just gonna work on that, I guess. Usually don't use a lockpick here for the XP, but I'm already 54 mil thieving, so hopefully it speeds it up a little bit. I don't know, maybe with 99 thieving it doesn't really matter. This is pretty much going to take me all day to do as well. I think I'm at like 30 loots or something like that. I need to get to 150. Probably take five hours or so. Dude, okay, Pip, I have to try. I have to try the last recall, bro. There's no way this doesn't work. Pip, if this works, I'm like the smartest guy there is, okay? Search Grand Shield gold, gold, gold chest. Teleport to the start. No, it doesn't save the recall! No, dude. Oh my god. Why didn't it Why didn't it save it though? Why doesn't it save it? Wait, wait. No. <laughs> dude. dude, that's so sad, bro. I thought I was the man, dude. No. Wow, I stuck up on that one. Room 8 of Pyramid Plunder 75 times. I've only done it 50, obviously, because I already did 25. Next milestone is at 150, so I need to do this 74 more times, which will take like 3 hours or something to get me to 74,400 points. This is what you gotta do when you don't get drops from any places. I have to be close to finishing right now. I'm actually doing the most efficient Pyramid Plunder possible because there's 2 or 3 other people doing it with me, so you don't actually have to check every door by yourself, so it does cut the time quite a bit. I have no idea how close I am to 150. It'll just give me a pop up when I'm close to being done. 250 done. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Room 8 of Pyramid Plunder 150 times. 200 points again. 74,440. I hate this place. Doesn't really do anything for us in terms of rank. We're rank 10 again. Can't get any drop in the game at all. I might just honestly just go like send Vorkath nonstop for, until I go to sleep and try and get the Skeletal Visage. I'm only going to play for like 30 minutes before I go to sleep, so I'm just going to go for one of the RNG tasks. There's still like 200 point tasks for stuff that isn't RNG, like killing 150 more Sire, or killing like 200 or 300 Muspa or something, but that's going to take hours. At this point, my RNG is cursed anyway, I'm just going to see if I can switch it up. If I get the Skeletal Visage from Vorkath, which is a 1 in 1k drop, there's 200 points for equipping the Dragonfire Ward, and 400 points for equipping every single Dragonfire Shield, so it would be a 600 points that would jump me up to 75k right away. 020 kill, that's my new PB. Not bad. 350 KC. Um, obviously, nothing yet, but I don't know whether to keep doing this or go do something else like Corp or something. I'm just, I'm lost, bro. I need some points for some drops. Yeah, and I'm just gonna go to bed. So many points I could get, whether it's full Virtus or the Dragonfire Shields or a single sigil from 250 Corp, which took me two days. The depression is back, but I'll figure out a way tomorrow and day after. Not on Gilinor Games 4 will return. Subscribe if you're new, it's the best thing to support me. And if you want to go that extra step during these tough times, go to didderbitter.com to buy my merch. Thank you guys so much for watching.